78 degrees overnight tonight, mostly clear skies, warm and humid, you know, just another good old fashioned valley night. Now we've got 96 on the slate for tomorrow. That's a valley average high, 20% chance for an afternoon sea breeze shower or thunder shower. That's the sea breeze for you. It's like trying to nail jello to the wall, figuring out who's going to get it, when it's going to happen. We know the sea breeze is coming in, that cool curtain of air off the Gulf, but where it will gain traction? Mm, we kind of leave that to the forecast here with the future cast model and say, okay, we're thinking that this is a pretty good spot because it really doesn't gain traction along the shore. It's an interaction between the cool air off the Gulf, cooler air, and the hotter, more moist air over land. So it takes it a bit for that interaction to happen. So yeah, it's a good safe bet. You get in toward Harlingen, Elsa, Edinburgh. That's where we stand the best chance for tomorrow. And then we go on into Wednesday. It may be closer to the lower valley on Wednesday. And then again on Thursday, we're looking at just a little hit and miss here or there. It comes and goes, it ebbs and flows. It's, it's not very predictable other than we know the mechanism is there. So hey, you get to look out and maybe have to dodge a shower. Or you get to look out and say, hey, there's a shower over there. <laughs> That's pretty much how it works. But we know it's gonna be hot and humid no matter what. So again, taking that into consideration that it really is an interaction inland, you, very little chance for rain along the shore and uh, right along the uh, lower valley there, a quarter of an inch or less. Then you start getting into from Los Fresnos, that part of the lower valley into the mid valley and upper valley. Now you can see half an inch to an inch. This is for the whole week and this is spotty. So th that's not a lot of rain, thank goodness. We've all had quite a bit lately, haven't we? And the temperatures are gonna start to bounce up as we head to a valley average high around 99 through the end of the week. The black number is the heat index, what your body thinks it is. Your body cools by sweat evaporating off your skin. So yeah, your body thinks it's like 108 on Thursday. So be sure to check that back seat, parents, whenever you get out of the car. Stay hydrated. Make sure the pets have shade and water. Wear the sunscreen and check those AC filters. Those things get away from you fast. So the precip trend is just the daily dose, daily dose, daily dose. Oh, and then things start to increase as we head into the weekend and early next week. We got a little helper coming on board. Some upper mid to upper level low pressure off the Gulf of Mexico is going to kick up our chance for showers and thunder showers Saturday to Sunday. It's still not a, you know, you don't have to cancel your outdoor plans like the backyard thing you were going to do, but just be prepared to duck a shower or thunder shower. The tropical update, a little more active out there. We've got a 60% chance for this tropical investigation to become a little something more. It's investigation 95. It promises to move off to the west as, they're like, as they like to do, but then more than likely it's going to curve around as high pressure backs up and probably threaten the east coast more than us. Tracking the tropics, a bunch of meteorologists from around the country on this thing. I've done it again. I walked into the graphic. All help to keep the, the forecast going. You go to valleycentral.com and then click weather, and then click tracking the tropics. I'm just gonna move that graphic over on the other side, that way I'll quit doing that. And it's always updated weekly and updated more frequently as a storm threatens the U.S. There's a look at what's coming down the pipe as we have that increased chance for showers for the weekend and early next week.